Sean, we just talked to Joe Thomas. I guess he's going to have surgery tomorrow. Just as a quarterback, what's that comfort level like when you know he's in there protecting your blind side? It's awesome. You know, he is, uh, in my opinion, probably the best to ever do it. And uh, when, when he puts in the time and effort that he puts into it, and you, you know for a fact that he's um, as prepared as he can possibly be when he steps on the field, it allows you to know that that, that side of the field, unless I make a mistake, is going to be taken care of. Um, so now I, I trust that he's going to come in, and whoever comes in and fills in that spot, he's going to lead them to, to have the same preparation skills and um, you know, hopefully perform at somewhat of the same level that he's performed and hopefully fill in that position the right way. I asked you, you know, Next man up doesn't really apply in the situation because of who Jim is. You right. haven't been around him a lot, but what, what kind of blow do you think this is to the team? I mean, I, I think we'll see. I think that, you know, this is brand new for this organization. You know, last time uh, Joe wasn't playing here, I was probably in fifth, sixth grade. So, um, you know, I think that it's, it's something new for us, and we're going to see how his uh, presence now not on the field but off the field is going to you know help our offense line and uh, performing at a higher level. Hey, Deshaun, you guys always say you prepare like you're the stutter no matter what, but isn't different? Is it any different on Monday not knowing uh, if you're the? You know the the way Mondays are for us, at least in my in my process, is it's very bland. It's very open. Um, so it, the the process that I'm on right now of of getting kind of a, a base grasp on on Minnesota. Uh, won't really change much if I'm the starter, if I'm not the starter. Uh, once that decision does come out, obviously it, it, it adjusts the way you go about things. I'll, I'll make sure that I'm doing everything that I have been doing to prepare for the game. Um, if I am the starter, if I'm not, then it's about doing whatever I can to help the guy who is uh, the starter. But do you, I mean, do you go home tonight wondering? I mean, we wonder. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. You know, um, it's a, a very, a very tough job. I think it's uh, uh, arguably. You know the toughest job that you can get in the United States, being a starting quarterback in the NFL, and uh, when when there's that much that goes into it, uh, you obviously want to to know as early as possible on on whether or not you're going to be out there doing that job or uh, where you fall in on the team. But until then, you know you just control what you can control and, and try to stand the process you've always been in. Sean, coach um, said that he had a conversation with you about uh, you know about the Friday night thing, and that uh, you know, he just he reminded you that you have to be careful. What um. Yeah, you know, as, as a quarterback of this organization, um, I know there's a lot of responsibility that comes with that, and, and a big part of that is being a leader. And a part of being a leader is making sure that you understand that distractions in, in any fashion aren't good for the ultimate goal. And when you become a, a centerpiece of a distraction for a week, um, it, it definitely is, is – uh, you know, very frustrating on my part. You know, that's, that's not who I am. My mother wouldn't be proud of this. And, um, you know, that's, that's pretty much the biggest takeaway is do whatever you can to make sure you're not a distraction. So when you, when you since you, I mean, you emphasized too that you didn't do anything wrong. So, I mean, will you change your Friday nights? Yeah, absolutely. Once again, I've learned that this is a distraction. We're sitting here talking about this. My, my teammates are coming up to me and asking me about this. Uh, I mean, there's so many cameras around here. It's going to be made a lot. You know, a pretty big deal, and and with that, um, you know, it's on me to make sure that from here on out, I'm no longer a distraction. I'm only an asset to this team, not, not a guy who's pulling away from the ultimate goal. When you went back and watched the film of the second interception, um, yeah. what do you see? Uh, you see a, a, a very good play from a, a you know a, a wise safety who comes off of uh, you know the underneath route, and as my vision goes away from him, he ends up falling under. Um, you know, the, the second layer of the route and makes a good play on the ball. Did you get, I mean, Hugh's been talking about it all year, that you can't turn, anybody can't turn the ball over. Right. Um, but how do you kind of balance his message with coaches keep giving me more chances? I could have stayed in the game and pulled out a win. Well, I think that's the ultimate question right now is um, I, I do feel as if I'm getting better each week. Obviously, uh, there's a big part of my game that, that has been. Um, Recognize as a flaw and that's turning the ball over and that's not helping our team win. But in every other aspect of this game, I feel like I'm doing a pretty good job and I, and I am developing. So it's it's on me to now make sure that if I do get another opportunity to be back out there playing, that I continue to develop in everywhere else, but also address the, the biggest flaw of my game right now, and that's turnovers. And the first one was just a bad throw just sailed on you? Yeah, yeah, ball comes out high. Sean, is there anything that you can do 
through your words before your actions, through, through your conversation, to convince you that you deserve a chance to go out and start this next game. You know, and I'll continue to be the same guy that I've always been. Uh, you know, continue to be the first guy in the facility, the last guy out. Have the same work ethic. Um, have the you know stay true to the process that he and I created, and allow him to make the decision that's best for the team. Um, you know he he he's the ringleader here. He makes all the decisions. He understands the ins and outs of this game, and I'm sure he's going to make the best decision possible. And if that's with me, then I got to make sure that I make the proper adjustments. If it's with someone else, then I got to make sure that I'm doing whatever I can to to help that guy lead us to a victory. How are you keeping up? Once again, we, we'll go back to the same thing that I've said every week. It's about setting small goals um, and, and making sure that you're checking out the majority of those. Obviously, one of the goals is to make sure you're not turning the ball over. I wasn't able to check that box this week, but everywhere else, I, I felt I felt very confident. You know, I'm running the ball a little bit, having a little more fun out there. Um, you know, protecting the team for for majority of that first half there. Um, so you 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 live on. Or you rely on those things to, to keep you positive and uh, make sure that the things that are negative, uh, you attack them even harder and you, you continue to recognize them and, and make sure that you understand that those mistakes aren't okay and those are mistakes that are leading us to losing games. Sean, you, um, I know you're trying to develop a camaraderie with your teammates. Um, I mean, do you feel like you know maybe you know going out with some of your teammates and you know away from here is a way to? Were you trying to bond with your teammates a little bit and do you? Realize that you have to do that in such a way that again, that you don't, it doesn't become a distraction, but you want to get to know them. Yeah, um, you know, I'm doing a lot of things off the field to try to get to know my guys. You know, I'm back in Toledo uh, with two of our receivers this past um, off day, trying to get to know them and, and um, you know, develop relationships with them. But I can tell you one thing that that does pull you away from relationships, and that's distractions. And that's uh, me having to stand in front of you guys in our locker room where we hang out and, and talk about something that's not winning. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm doing whatever I can to uh, create that camaraderie, and this isn't a part of it. So. Um, just to give you a chance to explain this, uh, earlier when we talked to you, hey, I barely have time to watch a Netflix show. I don't know if I can watch the Indians. You know, I find out on Twitter, you know, stuff you told us about this. Was this like, was this now like an exception? Or, I mean, was this like a, hey, you finally went out? Or, you know what I mean? Is this like a, was that a rare thing for you? It, it, it is rare um, for, for me to be out at that hour. Um, I felt as if my preparation that week was was you know going as planned. Uh, I felt very prepared for the game. It didn't really alter me from uh, my typical process, um, and unfortunately, uh, it becomes a distraction. And, and that's exactly what I didn't want it to be. And I'm going to learn from this and make sure that um, everything I do from here on out off the field is only uh, directed towards the ultimate goal of getting our first victory here. Does this um, kind of this? You know, the, the way he's handling you now and taking you out, if you turn the ball over, does that make it hard to play free and easy? You know, it's, it's no, not at all. I, I believe personally that everyone here knows that this game is a productive based game. And when you're not producing and uh, you're not, you know, leading your team in the right direction of getting a win through turnovers, that, uh, you know, the best guy should be on the field. And uh, for me, it's about doing whatever I can to make sure I prove to him that I am the best guy on the field. And, uh, you know, two turnovers in the last two games uh, doesn't necessarily head in that direction. So it's about doing whatever I can now to make sure that uh, next time I do step out there that I address my biggest mistake right now, and that's turnovers, and um, allow myself to stay in a full game to give myself an opportunity to lead this team to victory that will hopefully wash away a lot of these other things we talk about weekly. Yeah. Is that in the back of your mind, like on a given play? If the pass, if the pass play's called, are you thinking, I can't do an interception here? No, I'm thinking we need a positive play. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't necessarily mean you know no no turnovers, but it does mean keep the ball to harm's way. It does mean put the ball in the best position for our offense to succeed on that play. Um, you know, there's pressure on every play from from first down in, in the first quarter to you know fourth down in the fourth quarter. There's always going to be something on your back, and as a quarterback, you just got to understand that um, you got to be team protecting and making sure that uh, the ball once again isn't in harm's way. Um, if, if you're the uh the guy, I mean, is there anything extra to, to, to playing in London or I mean, is there anything to that? Absolutely. There, there's travel. Um, this is a very physical sport and uh, to be on a plane for that long um, can throw your throw off your process. You know, we'll, we'll practice on 
a, a night, hop on a plane and, and get off that plane and practice again. Um, so you got to make sure that you do whatever you can, that although obviously uh, we travel that far, you, you stay on the same process and, and you rely on the resources that we have within this building uh, to, to make sure that your body doesn't take a hit from it, from compression to hydration to sleep. you got to make sure that everything that you're doing is um, heading in the direction of, of playing well. Hey, you run the microscope at how different is this? I think it's very similar. Um, it's, it's definitely a, a higher scale. There's a couple more cameras here than there was at ND, but uh, at the same time, you know, when you're at a university that's such an international uh, presence, you, you're, you're under a, a pretty you know, big microscope there too. Uh, so I was able to learn there. I was able to understand uh, all the things that go into representing something a lot bigger than yourself. And uh, now it's about applying some of those learning experiences there here. Um, this obviously uh, situation such as what happened on Friday was nothing I ever dealt with in college. And um, it's frustrating that I, I was able to get through college without anything like that. But now I'm stepping here as a rookie in the NFL and uh, creating another distraction for my team. Yeah, this, 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 this organization, this fan base, this city wants to win. And anything that's not heading towards winning is going to be recognized. And there's going to be a conversation somewhere about it. You guys are going to write about it because that's the ultimate goal here. And um, we need to get to that. In order to get to that, uh, you got to be, as a quarterback, you have to be a leader who's uh, leading the team in a direction that only heads that way. No, no steps back at this point. Absolutely, absolutely. Those, those are things that are going to allow this team to play better on Sundays. Um, a, a, a discussion like this is. The players' meetings. Yeah, it's, I think it's something that uh, we've benefited a lot from. You know, to, to have open dialogue between, um, you know, some of the receivers and, and the quarterbacks um, about you know different routes and different mindsets or something that I think is going to continue to help us out. You know, we, we have a little bit of extra time later in the week to talk, and why not you know use it the right way.